Hey, what's up guys? It's Ben Santa, and today we're going to be doing the Aaron Yeager hairstyle. I'll be totally honest, I have not watched Attack on Titan yet. I'm more of an OG anime watcher. I just re-watched all of Naruto, both part one and part two. So that, that's where I'm at. But this is a pretty simple hairstyle as long as you have the correct length hair um, and you do it correctly. If you have long curly hair like me, you're going to need to blow it out and straighten it out. First step, first step is to use an argon oil or some sort of hair oil or hair cream to use as a pre-style or as a heat protectant because if you use a blow dryer really really often the heat will damage the hair so that is step one so let's do that i'm using the forte series argan oil from my buddy alex costa's hair care company and i love it because it gives a nice texture to my hair just move it around you want to really spread it evenly because this is a fully <laughs> involved hairstyle where all of the hair has a job it's not like where it's just slicked back and uh you know sort of the hairs in the back and get <laughs> forgotten about so you definitely want to put enough to uh fully cover the whole surface of the hair all over especially if you have frizzy <laughs> hair like me and we're actually going to use a little bit of hair cream for the back because the back gets super frizzy now that we got the oil properly work through, it's time to blow dry and straighten the hair out. So let's do that. All right, so now that the hair is finally straightened and all blown out, you'll see the length you probably need it to be pretty long. You want it to be almost about shoulder length, if not just about, um, because we are gonna pull it, at least the top half, back quite a lot, just so we can get the same style, because it's sort of a low bun that's messy that you pull around. But first, because you don't want the frizz, frizzed up hairs, the argan oil takes up most of the frizzed up hairs, um, but because we wanna make sure it stays not frizzy, <laughs> you wanna put some product in there. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of grooming cream just to give it some more texture. Uh, this doesn't have any hold, surprisingly. It's just texture and moisture to the hair. This will help us sort of manage and tame it a little bit, especially if you have frizzy, <laughs> big hair that's super thick like mine is. And the next thing we're gonna to wanna to use is some molding paste. So this is Forte Series molding paste from my buddy Alex Costa's collection. Don't need a lot, but I do have a lot of hair. So we'll start off with a small amount like that. You want to emulsify it. If you don't, you want to, <laughs> I know it seems excessive, but you want to get the heat. You want to feel heat in your hands when you're moving the cream because that's when you really start to activate the product and uh, it really starts to work its magic. So I just push my hair back, work it through evenly. You don't want to just like push it through flat. You want to work it through as well like that inside the hair so it's evenly distributed. Otherwise, you're just putting it on top. It seems like it should be pretty good. I'm gonna use a tad more for the back. The back is where it gets frizzy because I can't really <laughs> pull it too well, with the, pull it straight with the blow dryer. <laughs> should be fine, there's like the thing. <laughs> Fire alarm went off. So, I still have it in my hands. I'm still moving it around. In the back, we may have to add a little bit more at the end, but for now, we're looking pretty good. Honestly, the good thing about this hairstyle is, although it's annoying to have the hair on your neck, once you have it shoulder length, you can actually just rock it like this, but that's not what we're doing today. That's not what you clicked here for. We're here for the Aaron Yeager hairstyle. So we're gonna need a, what do you call it? <laughs> you're gonna need a hair tie, and you're gonna pull the hair back. So it's a little difficult to do because I can't see it. So you wanna pull it down and backwards. Let's see how much of this hair we can get in here. We wanna leave some of it at the front poking out. So pull it back here. And we want the bun to be loose. We don't want it to be super tight because it has the messy appearance. So we're gonna come here. We're gonna wrap around once. And again, the amount of times you wrap around is dependent on your hair. Do twice. And once you get it through, you wanna close it. You only wanna go halfway through the loop. And then you wanna sort of mess it up a little bit by uh, pulling on the hairs a little bit. Okay, so now, we got these hairs in the front. We have a little bit more that we could probably have put back into the bun. So honestly, I'm going to take these hairs here and I'm gonna redo <laughs> this bun. You may have to do it once or twice to get all of the hairs in correctly. Again, it's just a bun, so it's super easy to do. 
So again, you want it to be messy, but you want it to be pulled back. So, and again, since you want it to be a messy bun, we're gonna sort of exaggerate a little bit. You're only gonna pull it halfway through the second time and you're gonna sort of mess it up. So it looks like a bowl, but it looks messy thrown together. And now these bottom pieces here, you'll see they're frizzy. Now, if you don't have curly frizzy hair like I do, they won't be this frizzy. So the easiest way to, uh, to make these not so frizzy is to get a little cream or a little bit of paste, whichever you're using and just run it through so it adds some more texture and it's less frizzy. It's much better now. You may want to add the slightest bit up here. Since you pulled back the hair on the sides, the hair in the front is a little bit longer than it actually is than you would see it than how his is in the anime, but considering he's an anime character and they can just willingly <laughs> chop the front pieces to leave it short, that would look really bad under normal circumstances outside of this hairstyle. This is as close as we can get to it. You'll see my hair is the slightest bit frizzy up here. So again, the easiest way to tame that is to just grab a little bit of product, not too much, grab a little bit and uh, work that through. And again, it's not, the bun isn't super pulled back and super tight, it's a lot looser. So if you need to push, the, sort of pull the hair forward with your hands as you work the product through, that's totally fine. And just for the last bit, I'm gonna add the slightest bit more of cream to the hair. And again, we don't want it to be too pulled back. We want it to be like loose and messy. We are done. So we have the back here, again, the bun. You want it to be messy, you pull it through halfway through the second loop or depending how long your hair is, how many loops you are. Honestly, my hair at the top could probably be a bit longer to make the bun a little more full, but this is probably about as close as I can get with my hair, given my hair type and the length. On the sides here, you'll see the front pieces are, they didn't make it back to the bun because we pulled it back, we'd give it too tight of a bun look and we also wouldn't be able to have these front pieces. So what you can do is you can take half of the front pieces and tuck them behind the ear because then you'll have them pop out here. And then the front pieces here will be <laughs> in the front sort of hanging down. And again, since uh, I'm not an anime character, I did not, uh, <laughs> I did not, cut the fronts. So the fronts are definitely a little, the front pieces are definitely a little longer, but this is the hairstyle. pretty damn close I have a picture on the screen throughout and now like you've seen of what the hairstyle looks like. If you guys like these videos and you want to see more hairstyle videos, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment below letting me know. I don't do hairstyle videos often, but sometimes I do them. I do more hair stuff on my Instagram. If you want to go follow me at Benjamin City, you can check me out there and uh, yeah, check out some of the other hair videos and some of the other content I've made before and I'll see you guys in the next video.